All right, well, now I'm confused. Now, I do have these, like... Oh! Tonight, we're playing Father's Day. All right, it's Father's Day. I know Halloween is right around the corner, but to today, it's Father's Day. All right. All right, so we have a lantern on the ground and a house in the distance. And that's it. That's all we know. Oh, that's it. All right, well, thanks for watching, everybody. This is Father's Day. I had a great time. Uh, what makes people go back to the past? Why can't they let him go and move on? What if that's the whole game? All right, I'm definitely getting PT vibes. Wait, does this not look like the hallway from PT? Kind of. Okay, then there was a whole nother hallway. But that initial hallway looks so much like PT. There's no time to be distracted. You need to continue working on the project. I have no idea what project that is. I spent several years developing a time machine. I was going to say time machine or teleporter. We're going back to 84. Time travel sucks. All right, I hear a phone ringing. Oh, not a, it's not the phone. It's the doorbell. Coming. All right, we got a, our Amazon package has arrived. Oh, sweet, it's my flux capacitor. Oh. I will say that based on the screenshots of the game, I didn't expect time travel to be in the first 10 minutes of the game. Oh. Well, nothing happened. Except now we have the satanic... We have the satanic book over here. Was this over here? Guys, the time machine didn't even work. It didn't do anything. I heard a crying baby. All right, now we're locked in. We're locked in by the crying baby. Should I flip this again? I can't tell if I died or if I just advanced the story. Act two. A little bit of both. Yeah, we died and advanced the story. This is Henry's story. Got my flashlight. Oh, okay. So Henry's a police officer. It's police, open up. Open up, Arthur. I know you're in there. Go away, Dutch. No one's home. The window is open. I did see that. But I also saw these figures over here. They look like mannequins. And I don't remember seeing them initially. In fact, no, we definitely would have seen them on our first pass because they're blocking the gate that I walked through. Excuse me, ladies. Can I help you? Keep an eye on them. I don't trust them. Never trust a naked mannequin. Nothing back here. Nothing with the electrical box. Oh, silly me. I completely missed the spooky dark path. I heard something out in the woods. I heard something in the outhouse. It's all in my head. Oh, f Back doors open. Anybody home? Someone's sitting upstairs. You think there's a ladder somewhere? <gasps> wait, wait, here's a ladder. Looks like I can burn the ropes. Okay. Need to find matches and gasoline. Oh, sh! I, I heard it. I heard it moving. I turned around and let me see if that's one of the ones that was at the gate. No, it's another one. Okay. Then we need matches. Nothing in there. Nothing in the stove. You would think the stove would have some matches. Oh, wait, wait, here we go. Got him. <laughs> Did you check by the fire? Why would matches be near a fire? They're creepy, but it's not like you see mannequins every day in a horror game. It's just ironic that we, we picked three games in a row that had mannequins. Oh. <gasps> Did she blow out my flashlight? 
before I move on, I need I need some clarification. Did she blow out our flashlight? Okay, can I get down now? Actually, can I stay up here? I already saw the mannequin reaching out. Huh. <laughs> High five. It was just a sound. Nothing. That's cheap. Cheap jump scares. I didn't know it was that kind of a party. You guys didn't invite me. And they blocked me off. I can take a hint. Oh, here's a dude. Oh, the other mannequins were ladies. Although he doesn't look like a mannequin. <laughs> I was told to get back to base. I'm sorry, guys. Forget about him. Okay, they... Okay. I can read you loud and clear. I'm not invited to the mannequin party. Act three. Phil. Okay, we're back to being Phil. Whoa, this place really changed. Need a key? Okay. Get out of my house! Ma'am? Everything okay? Wait. Okay, no, something changed. There's no bathroom. All right. The bathroom's gone and I see the shadow of a man who's not actually there. <laughs> oh no. All right, so the TV's gone. The couches are gone and it's been replaced with bookshelves, skulls, and a Ouija board. All right, we'll come back to the Ouija board. Let me go use this key to Let's use this key to open up the box in the hallway. Look at her shadow. Oh my God. I, didn't, ah! I, I noticed that the shadow was like bigger than her. I didn't realize it was a demon until I got closer. Oh, <laughs> what lovely arts and crafts you've been doing. All right, now we're locked out. I finally have the piece that we need, but now we're locked out of the apartment. How about this? Can you let me back in, please? Anybody? Come on, man. I've clicked on everything in this little hallway. Like this open, but we can't interact with it. Hold on, wait, what's that? Oh. I clicked on everything, guys. Everything. Everything's, yes, everything. Oh, thank God. Appreciate that. Oh, oh I, I don't know if that was an umbilical cord or intestines. All right, put this back there. And I will take this. Oh, the missing piece for the Ouija board. Fantastic. Lead the way. Need the password. The password is nipple. All right, we must talk. Ah, they're reproducing one, four, zero, eight, one, four, zero, eight. Correct. Welcome to hell. It's like the time machine opened up a gateway to hell. All right, here we go. Flip the switch. There's no lever. It's never satisfied. Probably not in here, but I have to go back out into the hallway. Okay, is she pointing at, is there a lever here? Oh, key. Oh, I can't see it. There we go. For once, the evil mannequins are on our side. They're like, we just want to go home too. She was very helpful. Yep, there's our lever. And here we go. Going back in time, guys. Game over. Heading back to the present, back to safety. Time to get out of this hell. Uh, I can get that with a hook. Oh, well, here we go. Or not. So we need a hook, but dude, there's a fishing rod right there. 
I'm gonna walk around the house and see if there's anything else we can use. <gasps> there we go. We got a crowbar. Shut up, baby. Any suggestions as to what we would... Wait. Oh, you mother. Here. Need an access key. All right. Baby steps. Need to burn the rope. God damn it. Is there... Oh, there we go. There's the lighter right there. Swole, do me a favor and look out the window. This window over here or that? The, oh! God damn it. It's the baby from inside the apartment. I thought it was like a grown something like staring in the window. You know, with, with a dark jacket. Like Slender Man vibes is what I was thinking. Except he has a face. Jesus Christ. Hey, Swole. Yeah? Can you do me a favor? Uh-huh. Look out the window. Sure. I don't remember. Oh, yeah, we have the crowbar. Oh, God. Maybe it's the Braithwaite daughter from Red Dead Redemption 2 inside the outhouse. It's actually surprisingly very clean. Minus, minus that. <laughs> oh, poopy access card. That would have been a good spot for a jump scare right there. So many missed opportunities with jump scares. Oh! I saw, I saw legs. Welcome. <laughs> I don't trust it. I do not trust it. Ah, oh! that's actually really scary. Yeah, very creepy stuff. All right, let's go back here. Let's get this over with. I always complain about how Shower curtains are always a huge missed opportunity for jump scares. Like, there should be a jump scare behind every shower curtain. Part of me thinks that this could be the one, but another side of me thinks, I think it's just misleading. Like, you hear the splashing, so you're expecting something to be back there, but really, nothing's gonna be back there. <laughs> yep. There was something kind of there. I mean, there was an audio cue and some footsteps and a giggling baby, but we didn't actually see anything. Okay, we got bolt cutters in the attic. All right, we got to find out how to get into the attic. <sighs> oh, man. Okay. Some sort of grave site with a crowbar. Need bolt cutters. Okay, so those are gonna be up in the attic. Oh God. Okay. It's not an attic. It's in the barn. All right. Oh. Okay. This was from another game that we played by them. Do you remember the game where we were on the subway, but like throughout the game, it kept pulling us out of the subway car. Go to like different areas. We were getting chased by a clown at one point. We kept going back to that one house where there was like an old woman. You remember that? Yeah, that's that's made by the same developers. But where are the bolt cutters? See, in the picture, it was just like propped up against one of these. Oh, wait, wait. I think I'm wanting something. <laughs> yes. There they are. Okay, and then they should appear. All right, so we got the bolt cutters. Now we can get the hell out of here. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Jump! A little over dramatic, don't you think? Just taking a picture. All right, we are in business. Incoming jump scare. Uh, place your bets, people. Place your bets. All right. Well, now I'm confused. Now, I do have these, like... Oh! Mm, ah! I felt that one in my neck. Uh. <laughs> place your bets, people. Place your bets. Okay, dude. I'm, I'm out of ideas. Nothing. What the f 
The bathroom was the first room I went into when we got in this house 45 minutes ago. And I never checked the bathtub. I, instead, I went on a rant about shower curtains and jump scares. And then I just walked away. Never even thought to reach in the water. F you. F you. F you. F you. F you. F you. And pull this. Okay, that opened up. Opened up the attic. <laughs> Come on up, Swole. Everything's fine. Oh, there's another one of those things. Can I, can I pick that up? Yeah. All right, now we have three of them. I can't imagine the game requiring us to pick up. Hey, there we go. All right, we have nowhere else to go but down. So here we go. Uh, Mannequin. Dude, this is the exact same basement from the other game. Remember how I said that like you're on a train, like a subway car, and then like you pick up objects and it takes you to other places. This is one of the levels from that game. Wait, weren't there mannequins behind the door? Yes. It was either mannequins or skeletons and find yourself. It may have been, I think it was mannequins. There's so many of them. <laughs> Privacy, please. Oh. oh my god, that was loud as shit. Alright, so crying mannequin will not Oh my god! All the other mannequins are like crying blood. This one actually has pupils and shit. Oh my god. Oh, you know what we haven't seen yet? No wheel valves in the game. It's technically not a horror game unless there's actually like a wheel valve you have to turn at some point as part of a puzzle. Here's jo oh sh dude, it's a clown. Yeah, let me just let you right on in. Oh, okay, thank God. <laughs> we get to live another few minutes. Okay, we got the screwdriver. Dude, no way can we fit inside that thing. We fit inside that thing. Oh, sh here we go. Guys, it's officially a horror game. I was a little concerned. We found a valve wheel. Ask and thou shall receive. Vent, screwdriver, valve, mannequin. Yep, checks out. Definitely a horror game. Do you guys reckon, recognize this? Same exact amusement park. I kind of like that though. I'm not going to sit here and say that they ripped themselves off. I think it's cool that they kind of tied two games together. It, in fact, this could very well be a sequel to Find Yourself. <laughs> I want to play a game. No way! It's the same dude! It's the same clown from... Uh, Find yourself. Oh my god. I fucking hate this shit, man. I think he's faster than us, right? Oh god! He's just chilling right there. <laughs> f off! F off! <laughs> There's not even a death animation. You just die. <laughs> he touches you and you're like, oh, okay. You got me. Really, dude? Leave me the f alone. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Walk away, bitch. Walk away. All right, here we go. Build the slot machine. Pull the wrench. What? This is our last coin. We only had three coins. Okay. That was scripted. <laughs> I'm sorry. You lost. Please restart your game from act one. Thanks for playing. Also, what the hell is the key for? It said something about a basement when you picked up the key. Oh. Yeah, in the mine shaft? Yes. Finally. Finally. 
this maybe this is the end of the game. We found Arthur's hat. Arthur, little Arthur. What did they do to you, my boy? Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> I keep missing the obvious. Keys are literally hanging on the wall. I found the boy, Peter. He was alone in that room. Peter told me that there were two more children. I couldn't find them. Dude. <laughs> Still not over. Is there a boss fight? Oh, we're back in the original house. Okay. All the paintings are, are normal again. All the pentagrams have been scrubbed from the walls. My flashlight's right here. Hopefully it works again. Flashlight does not work. Well, we can't have everything. Let me check here real quick. Nope. Okay, so it's pushing us towards the... Towards the time machine. Okay, never mind. Scratch that. My order has arrived. All right, back upstairs. Get our Amazon package. I brought. Oh my god, dude! Someone even said tonight they're like, "Are you gonna are you gonna be reading a lot?" I said, "I hope not." <laughs> the other kids were misbehaving, and I had to calm them down. I don't understand why they call me a maniac. Kids love the clowns. Defendant Phil Harris was sentenced to death by electric chair for the abduction and murder of two children. In the Golden Egg, we discovered that Phil Harris suffers from multiple personality disorders, his mind divided into two different people. Since the clown controlled him in real life, I think the real Phil helped Jonathan find the place where the children were hidden. Thank you, Phil. Jonathan didn't find Sergeant Henry. Where are we? What are we going to do? Oh, shit. What is this, a Marvel movie? We got a post credit scene? Just when you thought it was safe to turn off the game. All right, so Henry's lost in the mind of Phil. I think that's what they were saying. We couldn't get Henry out. All right, this should be the end. Oh! No! Oh no, <laughs> now we are in the other game. <gasps> oh, dude, is this a prequel? Maybe we play as Henry and find yourself and this is like his fate. <laughs> You're mine forever now. Oh, there you go. That's Father's Day. It was okay. I wasn't expecting the tie-in with, with Find Yourself. I can't wait until Mother's Day comes out. From the makers of Father's Day comes a game that's sure to put the mother back in motherfucker. Presenting Mother's Day. Coming spring of 2023.